second shelf. How you doing in there? I don't know, the shoulders are a little big. But the color's good, so... I don't know. Well, do you think it'll shrink if I put it in the washer? No. Just don't put it in the dryer. This shirt's coming out of your check, not mine.
I don't think that's one of your tapes. Where is it? Yeah, you're right. This isn't a rental. They must have left my tape in the machine and returned one of their blank cassettes instead. It happens. Put it aside. They'll realize the mistake and be back in later. You want to watch it? No, not exactly. It's probably just a bad tape of yesterday's ball game or some stupid soap opera. Just put it aside. All right, but look, if, if they don't come in soon, let's watch it, huh? I'm dying to see what these yokels consider entertainment. <laughs> How are you today? Get something for you? You got that chainsaw movie? I'll get it. Are you a club member? Number 261. 261. 261's okay. Okay, that'll be 315 with the governor. Exactly what I'm talking about. Friendly, huh? Well, I'll tell you what's strange to me. When I had my movie theater in New York, all anybody wanted to talk about was movies. I mean, I'd go stand out and mingle with the people waiting online or standing in the lobby, and everyone was a critic. They all wanted to talk about the new Woody Allen or the new Spielberg film, and I figured that would carry over into the video business. <laughs> and all these people want are horror movies and slasher films, and occasionally a triple Xer from the back. Right. So aren't you dying to see what's on this blank tape? <sighs> okay, okay, put it on. <laughs> I just hope whoever goofed up doesn't come in while we're watching it. Very, very real. Look, man, that is real. That guy getting cut up is Reggie Hobbs. He's a friggin' postmaster. At least he was. I, I mean, supposedly retired down to Florida a few weeks ago. Well, could this be some kind of a joke? Maybe it's a play or a scene from a movie or something. <laughs> you stop quibbling around. I, I can't get a decent shot. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Put the camera down a minute and hold up his hair so I can cut. <laughs> what the hell are we gonna do? I mean, we've gotta report this. I mean, that guy could be dying somewhere. Do you know what this means? Here, hold this. Let me get the camera. How's this? Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, bummer, man. I stole my beer. Yeah, it's a good beer. Wait, I almost forgot my latest. <laughs> Stick it in. Go ahead. One of my club members is a psychotic killer, and we've got his tape. Maybe neither sleet nor snow will stop the U.S. Postal Service, but a good old hammer, machete, and hedge clipper will. <laughs> yeah, that baby's worse. <laughs> Come on, baby, there's more left. <laughs> Come on, baby, there's more left. Come on, baby, there's more left. Look, I'm gonna go see the police. I gotta tell someone about this. Hey, wait, what if whoever let the tape here comes back looking for it? How could he be stupid enough to claim this? He doesn't know. We watched it. All right, look, I'm gonna lock the door. You stay here with the tape, and I'll try and get a cop to come back with me. All right. I'll put up the close sign. Just stay out of sight and don't open it for anybody. Just hurry up, huh?
when I left, this was locked. Yeah. Rick, it's me, come on in. I got the chief with me. Rick? Rick! 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 I do wish that you would eat something. You've just picked at your dinner. Look, Steve, if you ask me, this whole thing was concocted by Rick. All you have to do is look at his history. He quits college midstream, and then his father's death, and now the poor kid has to take care of his mother. I mean, we left New York to escape to peace and quiet. <laughs> but this atmosphere is probably driving him crazy. And it was just his way of stirring up a little excitement. Well, what about the postmaster? Did you recognize him? No, but That's Rick just did. my point. <laughs> Rick could have set you up for the whole bit. You know, he probably just taped a horror movie off of television. No. The whole thing was shot on video. I mean, it had the same quality as a soap opera, one of those rotten commercials. Not a film. Well, maybe he videotaped some of his friends. I don't have any friends. Steve. Or any video equipment, as far as I know. And all morning long, all he talked about was the strange behavior of the townies. What do you mean? Well, don't you find it just a bit bizarre that in the few short weeks we've been here, we've got, what, close to 300 members? Mm -hmm. That's almost the whole population of this one-horse town. And why do they all have VCRs? Since when are you complaining about business being good, huh? I mean, we are so damn lucky. I left a cushy job at a law firm, and you left your childhood dream of running a movie theater. You know, we could have picked a town where maybe three people own VCRs. All right, I'm not complaining. This whole thing's just got me a little shaken up. I mean, it would take a lot to convince me that I didn't see a pretty gory snuff film this morning. As far as Rick is concerned, if it's a joke, then I've got a problem with my only employee. My only missing employee. And if it isn't a joke, then Rick could be up Shit's Creek. I don't care what you say, this thing gives me the creeps. You know? Getting pretty nervous about it. Now, wait a minute. What do you mean missing? Well, maybe I shouldn't have left him alone so long. You left him alone in the store with the money? That's oh. not the point. The point is, when we got back, he wasn't there. And the money was. And the door was wide open. And I had locked him in. And somebody had to switch the original tape with someone's stupid home movie. OK. All right. Why don't we just try to be logical about this whole thing? I mean, maybe tomorrow morning, Rick will show up for work. But if not, you call his mother and see if she knows anything. Now, I can look through the records at the town hall, and I can see if I can probably get a phone number for Postmaster Hobbs down in Florida. I can call him with some question about his social security number or some other red tape. We just forget about it for tonight, okay? Maybe everything will become clear in the morning.
the writing. What is it? Oh, it's probably written on there. Uh... Yes, operator? Operator, I have been trying to reach a number in Florida for about 20 minutes now, and I cannot seem to get through. I'm sorry, I will complete the call for you. Thank you. Hello? Oh, you got him. Who's this? This is Rachel Emery. I work for the Borough Hall. Oh, well, how do you do, young lady? I, I don't believe I ever met you. What can I do for you? Well, you see, I was I was just working on the files uh, for the uh, employee benefits, and there seems to be some kind of discrepancy in your social security number. I was wondering if you could repeat that for me, please. Certainly, young lady. Uh, uh, yes, it's uh, one five seven four two. 0708. Yeah, that's it. No, no, no trouble at all. You're most welcome. check out? Oh, Christ. Yeah, well, guess what? I just got another blank cassette left on my counter. Nah, I don't know who left it. We were kind of busy in here, and someone just left it. No, nah, I was about to look at it when the phone rang. Yeah, okay, I'll call you back. Bye.
strangled to death here in the store. Yeah, I recognize my own store, and it was definitely Rick. No, I'm going to take it to the police. Yeah, can you meet me at home? Okay, I'll see you then. of a conspiracy, but here at Dogpatch, I'm being made out to look like a paranoid idiot. And there is no doubt in my mind that I saw a tape of the real live murder of a man identified as the postmaster, and yet you feel you talked to the postmaster in Florida. I talked to him, or at least I talked to someone who said he was the postmaster and who knew his social security number. Do you want a drink? And then someone in the store decides to drop off a second tape, depicting the murder of the only other person to see the first tape. And yet when I talk to the victim's mother, she swears he's in Boston. Bullshit. I saw him slammed up against the wall of my studio by the same guy that did it in a postmaster. And both efforts to show the damn tapes to our brilliant chief of police have backfired. Especially the second one. And Obviously, all too planned accident. <laughs> Am I going crazy or what? I don't know, honey. I don't know. Look, I want to believe you. But you have to admit, this all sounds so outrageous. God, I don't want a cigarette. Maybe I will have that drink. All right. Now, why don't you just let me play detective for a minute, okay? Now, this whole thing would be much easier to believe if we had a motive. Now, why would someone murder these two seemingly unrelated people? And then why would they videotape the murders? You know, by doing that, they have just created a pretty foolproof piece of evidence. And why would they then arrange to have you, of all people, view them? 
And now, according to you, the phones are bugged, the postmaster is dead, and there's an imposter at his phone number. And Rick Carlson's mother, well, she's either a fake or a patsy. <laughs> I'm absolutely up against a wall. I mean, I refuse to think that my husband is off his rocker. But Steve, if all the rest of this is true, then I'm getting pretty scared also. I may be losing my mind, but I'm going to start my own little investigation tomorrow. Fine. I'm all for it. Where are you going to begin? I had the foggiest idea. Good magazines here. Why, thank you, young man. You must really be thirsty. Oh, you better believe it. It's been such a long ride. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Where, how do we get to the place that rents the canoes? Well, I'll tell you, but first, uh, you might want to try some of my fresh lemonade. I just made it myself. Sure. Okay, okay. sure. Thanks. Nice and cold.
Bye bye. <laughs> okay, Howard. Now I'll go get the ones in the deli. Did I miss all the fun? No way, it's just begun. the slicer and give me a half pound of arm. <laughs> <laughs>
the good news.
Coil, you're not going to believe this. Well, what happened? Well, first off, it was a recording, which is either something new or something very suspicious. But more important, it said that there was a special horror double feature tonight. Night of the Living Dead and the Vampire Takes a Bride. What? Oh, no, wait a minute. This has got to be a gag. Yes, but what kind of a oh. gag? And put on by who? And is the whole town in on it? What is it they're in on? No, wait a minute. Do you want to go outside the town? Do you want to go back to New York, or do you want to report this to the state police? I don't know. I keep trying to put myself in some place of authority, you know? Some guy ranting and raving about video murders and conspiracy and the town of unfriendly people who all have VCRs. You gotta admit, it sounds pretty sketchy and a little off the wall. Well, it is getting me pretty nervous. Look, I I'm calling in sick to work tomorrow. I'm gonna come with you to the store and I'm gonna go through all the membership files. I'm gonna try and see if something is amiss or weird. Maybe if we talk about each member, then something will jump out at us. I doubt, honey. I've been through them all in my mind. All right, well, actually, I really don't care if that helps to solve anything or not. I don't want to be alone. And I don't want to be in that office with all those creepy people, either. Look, maybe if we just stick together, we can figure something. And if not, we can just pick up and leave. Okay, all right. We'll see what happens tomorrow, okay? Right now, why don't we get some sleep? Do you mind if we left the lights on? 